Tonight, though, he opens up to WVTM 13's Kara Powell about what he believes led to his downfall. He put goggles on. Dr. Robert Bentley's breathing a little easier these days, stepping away from life in the spotlight, opening a dermatology clinic in Tuscaloosa. Do you miss it at all, or are you, was it kind of like a sigh of relief to kind of go back into private life? Both. Uh, I, I, we got so much accomplished. Had people just left us alone, Alabama would have been alive. Bentley's transition from public life to private life began in April, resigning as governor amid controversy concerning his relationship with former top aide Rebecca Mason. They took advantage of, uh, of some personal things. They took advantage of that by trying to get rid of me. There's a lot more to this. Bentley blames opponents pushing special interest and bad advice from his legal team. But I was the best governor Alabama's ever had, by far. And we got more accomplished in seven years than the last five governors have ever gotten accomplished. Bentley says those accomplishments have helped build strong supporters. And everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody wants to shake hands with you. Telling me his approval rating is higher today than when he left office. Most folks think I'm still the governor. Though his life in politics is over, Bentley says he wishes he'd fought harder to stay, believing the state is now being run by special interest groups. They've dismantled so many of the things that Really the state. But he says he has no questions about Alabama's ability to move forward. It's a great state. It, it, they'll, they will, the, Alabama will survive. It will be okay. Kira Powell, WVTM 13. Bentley says he plans to share more about what happened over the next few months, but hasn't decided exactly how he'll move forward.